nice to see you today. Now, tell me, when you are sleeping, who has ever been afraid of that thing under the bed or thought there was something in your closet? Well, our friend Bobby today goes through these feelings at night and he gets his mom to help him be a little less scared. And as a future mama, I kind of loved this story because who knows, I might be having to fight off and talk down some monsters myself here soon. And I thought this story was so cute. So today we are reading Bobby and the Monsters. Look at these monsters though, they don't look so bad. Let's get started. So Bobby and the monsters. Bobby, mom said, it's time to sleep and dream of things that are nice. Kittens and puppies, new toys, ice cream and pie, but just one slice. But mom, I'm scared to go to sleep. Monsters are here every day. One always makes a lot of noise and never goes away. And this monster's going, sure, 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 sure. Some slippers, it looks like. I would definitely not be able to sleep if a monster was shuffling around my bedroom floor. Mom laughed and said, it's just Rocky Plum. Who in the world is that? A monster boy with purple hair and a nose that's almost flat. He has blue lips and yellow eyes. In fact, he looks a lot like you. Oh, Mom, you know I don't look like that. Well, at least your lips aren't blue. <laughs> so silly. Do you think he'll do bad things to me? Bobby asked. I still think he might. Oh no, he never hurts anyone. He's never even been in a fight. But another monster comes from under my bed and does something that I hate. He steals my socks. And when I get up, he ma I make my mommy wait. Oh, this monster takes his socks and he makes his mama wait for him. These monsters just sound very silly. They don't sound that scary. What do you think? One sock is red, another is blue. And there's also one that's green, but one of each color is all there is. And that's all I've ever seen. He likes to collect boys' socks, Mom said, and scatter them all over the floor. Then later, he'll pick them up and throw them out the door. Who knows if some notices something very cool about this story? So this is a rhyming story. I don't know if you're hearing all those rhyming words. See if you can pick out the words that rhyme. But where are the socks in the morning, Mom? Not outside in the hall. No matter how long I look for them, I can't find any at all. The sock monster's name is Rufus Railroad. He takes one off, he takes one of each and wears mismatched socks each time his mom takes him to the beach. Look at this silly monster going all over the beach. Who wears socks to the beach? I don't know if I would ever do that. <laughs> this monster is silly. He's very cute and lots of fun and certainly means you no harm. But sometimes he acts really silly and wears a sock on each arm. Mom, I'm glad you told me that. Rocky and Rufus aren't bad, but I'm still afraid of another one who also makes me mad. Oh gosh, what does this one do? Sometimes he pulls the covers right off my legs and feet 
and when I wake up, I have goosebumps, and I wish my room had more heat. Mom laughed and said, it's okay, Bobby. He just likes to play tricks. And by the way, I'll tell you his name. It's Ricardo Sassafras Clicks. I like these monsters' names. <laughs> and he thinks it's very funny to pull off your covers at night. If you don't want him to do that again, just tell him to go fly a kite. Now go to sleep with a smile on your face. The monsters would never hurt you. I know that if you ever meet them, you'll see what I say is true. And that was such a silly story and I love it so much and you know it shows me Bobby's so scared of all these monsters and he doesn't like what they're doing but sometimes if we get a little more information about things we might not like or things that bother us it ends up making sense and we end up finding out that things that had gotten us mad had gotten us upset aren't actually all that bad so sometimes we just need a little more information and we need to see a different side to a person or a different side to a story and we find out that it's okay and they don't mean any harm and maybe the monsters in your closet or under your bed are just funny and they like playing tricks so I loved that story today. I hope you enjoyed it. I see a lot of my friends here today. Hi guys. And I hope to see you for our next story. Have a great rest of your day. Bye friends.